Lord of Flames here, and today, this is a long video, and I like it. One hour from Mr. Billy Kruger's newest video he made those days ago. New ghost hunting shows spirits of Spokane. <laughs> That's cool. That's a good cool name for the title. So, it's been a long time since, like, all those years ago, I think it was 2014, since he and his friends done so many ghost hunting when they were young at the time. And then now, 2018 through 2019, they, they are back for more. And now, Mr. Peter Kruger decided to have a new type of series for it, but still the same way it was before. So, this is like an updated version of it, I think, but I truly like to see it right now, so here we go. <laughs> That's still a pretty good intro, because I think that's the only intro you use every year now, because it's VHS, Shining Jeff. That's the first start of his own ghost hunting. And now, 2020, he's back. Back in ghost hunting. It's the same locations he done before. And I remember that. I remember that. I watched one of his art episodes. And it was awesome. Because they did encounter or hear ghosts around him. Which is from that one building. Besides, it is true there are a lot of ghosts hunting around these towns, even for mine, because there are a lot of those old newspapers back in the time, back in those old years, and they, those Greetings ghosts. Greetings and salutations. I'm Patrick Ferguson, aka Mr. Betty Kruger, here on YouTube, and welcome to my new series, Spirits of Spokane. Mm. Those were the days before the quarantine. Minnehaha Park, right here in Spokane. Where do I even begin with this one? Uh, me and a friend did a full uh, ghost hunt. You know, we chose it at night. We were there for a couple hours because, well, after that it'd be trespassing, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah. I'm just not the rule breaker I was as a teenager. So. Sure, it's kind of sucked that you um, don't get a chance to go other places. Needless to say, it is still one of the most interesting and certainly had the most visual and audio evidence I ever captured as a ghost hunter in that uh, investigation. I still think about it today. I don't know where the stigma came from, uh, from friends and uh, co-workers and such. Maybe, just maybe, the fact that I'm the actor who's played Jeff the Killer the most might have something to do with it. <laughs> I mean, I've definitely made a reputation of being a very violent, very um, sadistic Jeff the Killer. You know, I mean, not to mention some of the other, you know, more brutal or you know, darker roles that I've portrayed here. That on movie, that film he um, made, but was when pretty dark. time came, the last couple it years, was. I was like, I really. I really just want a, a ghost hunting team. I think it'd be fantastic. Uh, and I really was putting my mind to it and some serious thought, and some money and equipment. Um, and uh, I'd get, you know, one or two answers. Either one, ooh, I'm interested, you know. Ghosts and paranormal fascinate me too, Patrick. All right, let's do this. And then at last minute, they'd bail out. Or I'd get someone go, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds kind of fun. Maybe that's something we could do. But hold on, you want me to go with you into a dark forest alone? Oh, gee, Patrick, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. And uh, I can laugh at it now, but yeah, it walking really in the was frustrating. It's like you can't creepy. differentiate between me and the characters I play. Must not be that smart, I guess. And recording. <laughs> <laughs> I met Luke at a gig for CMS Security, 
uh, where I still currently you know, work part time. Um, when I'm not really violently cool killing security. people or like making videos, and you just will never understand. Night, security stuff. <laughs> um, I work for CMS, and uh, we had this gig right. that allowed us a lot of free time, so we Good got to really know each other very well. Um, and uh, you know, it, it quickly you know, became known that else. we shared a love for horror Spooky. movies and, of course, the supernatural. So right away, something was clicking there, and. It didn't take very long to say, hey, maybe we should go on a ghost hunt sometime. You know? And Everyone at 6'3", like, to go ghost hunting, uh, Luke is just fun. not scared of anything. Well, they so, you, you know, if they have to I, do it at night. You know, give me this weird stigma thing of like, oh, I can't ghost hunt with a horror actor. You know, he didn't give me that uh, bull****. So, finally, I said, well, I definitely know a place that we don't need a, you know, uh, any special permission to go, and of course that is Minnehaha Park. Okay, cool. The same place. Besides, I still have a feeling if this is the only place they always keep going because they still want to know more about this building. I feel like I'm playing Outlast. <laughs> because well, we'll see how the night goes. <laughs> it's, it's right. It's so abandoned and left forgotten, <laughs> and like exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It was right here where we're trying to do some really cool long shots of Jeff for D2. Yeah. I have my big ass boots on. And I'm marching this way. And in the in the uh, photography, it looks like something's starting to follow me. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wait. So now you tell a little bit about the D2 movie. There it is. So you show the, the you orphanage. See a little bit that was about built in that one of the scene that for Jeff. Whatever. Was here it was way. built in. I think initially it was supposed to be a theater, like, you know, theatrical theater. Nice. Then it was a movie theater. Okay. Then a dance house, like, a ballerina, stuff like that. Cool. Then finally, from what people say, a very abusive orphanage. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, there was a whole bunch of rumors, man, about uh, dead kids and dismemberment. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. Here we go. This is where the heartbeat was. Yeah. This is how. This is where I heard it the last time. Yeah. Yeah. This is literally the same exact spot. That's really funny. Oh, wow. This is where you heard it too. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah, one of the other episodes. I remember that. That fat Jake and his friends just heard something it. Interesting. There's a light on in there. Oh, what the. F this is supposed to be unoccupied. <laughs> that's that's light. Yeah. Did you even film at the bottom of that just so people see there's light there? Yeah. Cool. I know how cruel I am. I asked a tall guy to get down there. No, it's cool. <laughs> well, it's struggling a little bit. <laughs> It's a bad Yeah, there's light down there. It's not like they would just like keep it up for security or something. It's funny, I for workers watch other care YouTube place, videos. I don't know. Like, like, and they never like, come at night. Maybe they <laughs> let it know. on before That's they shut down. You, me, and my old buddy have been the only ones, at least to film it. And I've seen so many people come over here and say, oh my god, I don't know what this is. They're freaked out. And actually, they're what used the to be. <laughs> oh, they're still part of it. There's a big sign, but there's right here. Nobody yeah. looks straight up. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's not that hard to figure out, okay? Men's on one side, women's on the other. Yeah. Uh, They're like, oh, what is, what is this door? <laughs> Are you able to read people? Right? <laughs> Seriously, I had one, there was this one kid. Someone's tried to kick it open. It looks yeah. like recently, too. All right. Exactly, like, guess people want to go who goes on. Looks like a tennis shoe. Yeah. The way it grooves like that. You're right. It's like a right. uh, cement grip. Um, this was but the you corner can't do that. That's bad, dude. My buddy was, uh, man, it was right about here. If they actually do allow yeah. you to go to a man in place, because I remember I was watching at Monster. Okay. Uh, explore with Jack. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! 
and that because was, we kept hearing noises they go around so many abandoned places and it was really fun but a little bit it's actually a little bit dangerous open. a bit is it really yeah yeah it is oh, man if i had one of those cameras that they use for colonoscopy oh like a f Snake right camera, say, I would love to <laughs> dude. Hell yeah! Right. Perfect. Yeah. Hell, maybe that's something night that vision works. anal cam. <laughs> <laughs> if it's dark, where you go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> now here, right behind here, was where we tried to film in these little holes that may still be there. And here. No, what? Oh These shit, yeah. Holes. I don't know if you remember, we tried filming and the audio cut out. I swear to God, something pokes its head up. Wait. <laughs> Is there anyone who wants to talk? Hello? Hello. Is anybody in there? Here, uh, try getting these two. I don't know if we only did one of those. I think this middle one. I don't know if we ever did these two. Yeah. Like, oh, they're like, but they're like breakthrough or something. Oh, oh shit. What the hell was that? Hmm? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I, I don't know, but I heard something inside. Hello? Something shiny in this one. Yeah. Looks like an eye. I don't know what it is, but there's something shining right there. It's a soda can. Oh, soda can. Okay. People have definitely been in here. Sure. Not sure how oh, wow. There's a hole that goes all the way through. It's like all the way small. through. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I wonder if, can you see it on the other side? Possibly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Left, put the can there and left. Cause it's not like they would just get inside. Because Is there time. anybody that might need help in here? From years and years ago. <laughs> There's his hand. You know I love ghost hunting shows. You know I really do. Um, I mean they're really interesting. They're fun. Scary at times. You know, spook you. Uh, but my big problem with a majority of those shows is, uh, you know, the business element. You know, they are providing a source of entertainment. Uh, you know, so when I'm watching one of these shows, and it's like, wow, they're getting some crucial evidence here. You know, this is something to really take seriously. Sometimes ghost and then you see a CGI ghost. There are actually ghosts or around you. you hear or a prepaid maybe not. Sound if effect. They use it's CGI like, man, or it just takes me right out of something to make it look like and, it's real. Uh, I or thought it'd be so cool to not real. make a ghost hunting team where even if we got, you know, three hours of nothing, that would be better than like, you know, you know, three seconds of uh, a prepaid, you know, sound effect <laughs> or, uh, you know, some terribly cropped photo or something like that. I would rather just get something real than something overly produced and, you know, fake. How are we doing on battery on that one? Uh, uh, the show I watched back in looks, like young, looks like it's lost a third. A brilliant really? Yeah, already. Series. More or less. But sometimes I remember a little looking weird. back. Right. I want to note that. that usually the camera about goes days for a good while. Skip part of the scene and go to commercials, ads, stuff, before showing surprise. You know, sometimes the like, spirits are trying to manifest themselves. What's that? And they, they drain power. Yeah. Commercial. We're back. 
for that was an idea for Bigfoot series now, because I tried to ask him the question. Uh, hey, the Bigfoot does series, anybody need help in there? Sorry, but they yeah. still and found when I saw that, when you stuck your hand Bigfoot. through, I saw something in the other corner just totally like get back, are there. Like, really? from, like from away from your hand. Yeah, seriously, away from my hand. They yeah, found yeah. weird. Why I didn't do the horror movie cliche? Like, I don't know it. There's actually a big. I just saw a cat run through there. Or if it is, who knows? Someone's cat just took off that way. Even <laughs> might say, oh, oh it's just a person wearing <laughs> an old right. costume to make him look it's like a here, Bigfoot that he tossed. Yeah. Walk well, over there, uh, act as friend, and take a picture. We're uh, doing oh, that EVP session, and we got that screen. Sorry, it's not like we're the only oh, things about it. left on Earth. Speaking of screams, I thought I heard one earlier. Sorry, but it might have been feeling that, that way, but I don't really know. It's a tough thing about being so close to you know, yeah. like looking back yeah. to Guardians of the Galaxy with those other aliens or anyway, something. Anyway, it's a horror movie cliche and be like, oh look, it's a monster in the woods. Let's go. <laughs> totally. <laughs> hey, Jeff, what do you got to say about this? <laughs> go to sleep. Besides, is Jeffrey Cage and Silk going to use that line to work go to sleep? Or what do you think, Zalgo? I'm going to eat your face. Okay. <laughs> Silly Zalgo. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm still thinking about it. In the day, it's weird well, now. I don't know if you're not like, starting like, to get that way. I don't know if there's a vibe. Already on Zalgo too, yeah, it does. I mean, I've like walked up with my family. <laughs> or baby not, so oh, yeah. And else. it's, you know. It's all nice and calm and shit. And you know, I actually felt, I actually felt kind of uneasy when we were just kind of rolling up next to the place before Larry dropped us off. Besides, if there will be a Zalgo too early on in the investigation, how would it have been up in the timeline? Making our way deeper into the Minnehaha forest. What day? It was just taking place. Steadily getting darker. Get there a lot of stuff. And uh, so I said something along the lines of, so many oh, "This kind of feels like the start of a nightmare." I really didn't know how accurate those words were going to be. <laughs> There's something, and it's almost like, uh, at least for me, it's almost like. Um, it's like you're about to have a nightmare. <laughs> right. You know? No kidding. It's like uh, something's telling you to like hang on to your hat, man. Right. <laughs> Damn. Forgot to bring extras, but I think it's okay. Oh. Looks like a kid poking his head out. Well, sir, I don't know what's the camera they're using right now because it's the like camera they use for the humanizer too because they want to make a look like in the 80s or 90s. <laughs> Recording. They truly like to do 80s stuff, of course. Me and Luke just got a really definitive cold spot right here. Even stranger is it gave off some readings on the uh, EMF detector. <laughs> Dude, you look you look like you're demonically possessed or some oh. shit. Your eyes are just like. Cameras <laughs> <Huh? laughs> always, cameras always have those double trick stuff. That at night or night vision, they have your eyes look a bit, a look a bit like that. It's if like you you're being possessed. By, let us know that you're here. I just got like a taste or smell of alcohol. Yeah. Like a beer can yeah. smell, taste, or whatever. Oh, okay, maybe. All you gotta do is make contact with this little device, and we'll know that you're here. Okay, here, we We need to hear the noise. Holy the ghost. What? The battery's already at one third and left. Huh? Really? Yeah. It's a new battery. <laughs> I don't wow. fucking know, man. And how long you been out there, though? Take power off of that, not this. We need this. <laughs> yeah. What is that? What do you see? Oh, it's just like a... It just looks really weird, but it's the pine needles. It's like right there. 
Yeah, it's very strange. That's like, already almost every like time you always fight, you see like a getting there, the right battery? in the distance. But when yeah, you walk closer, it. there, it's just a wood or just a random what life. The f man? <laughs> yeah. Or object. Seems like already basically dead. You know, I almost brought my uh, other camera just in case. I thought I'd be there a couple hours. We have enough. <laughs> Uh, no. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello? Is anybody here with us? Yes. Better from last time. Make a Is there anything a noise here with us? Ghosts. It's like we may not know how a ghost sounds like. Like people do it like, or do it sound like wind or something. Do that sound again. difficult to get that. Alright, it is. It definitely is a ghost right there because that sounds like a ghost. Oh. And recording. <laughs> oh. That is June 30th, 2020. I feel like we should get like a GoPro or, or something. Or the camera. Uh -huh. Has a wrong date or something? I don't know. Uh, probably, watch? Probably my watch. Okay. Just careful with your hand around it, I guess. So. We'll see. Yeah. Mid Beta Cougar and friends did amazing on the ghost. See, ladies thing. and gentlemen at home, just because someone sneezes think, doesn't though, mean it's supernatural head activity. Head <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All the Ghostbusters. The they tried to wait for the recording. Because <laughs> they done better, because there's a little bit. Dumb YouTubers out there, like I'm Jace Agent. You know what? This is unique. And tell me this is, not this very is happening to you. He just like it definitely happened to me before. But it's ghost. almost like oh my god, the layout a changes right a bit. The I know how weird that sounds. Oh my god! It does. It, does. it just. Really just really 500 because, likes. Like, I know we just came up There's like no right way. here. Yeah. I'm but the only rock that I remember all. coming up to, the <laughs> only rock I remember if seeing, heard one of them. Yeah, more, yeah. And now this, this is here. Channel. Yeah. <laughs> Don't so I'm not the only one who's experienced Don't that. Describe him. <laughs> no. I mean, you might understand yeah, why. He just came up there. Yeah. <laughs> and definitely from the park, you don't see this either. No. Because Mitch Bay Cougar and his friends done better. This is some blank weird. Uh, let's hope not. <laughs> just have to wait out there. Just uh, wait. I don't want to get snot nosed into the camera. And while you're camera going, I'm so your, startled. Uh, <laughs> you're walking, you're a radio or something to record and wait for that sound. Hell, you'd be really and scary, Luke. To hear. We're here, and it gets stop. pitch black. There's no way it can be and that dark. It. You and I are alone. We're hearing these strange noises. And off in the distance. Yeah. Quietly. We hear. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> so I don't remember this part, do you? No. No, I do not. This actually happened to me the last time I was here. Yeah. I was with I was here with my niece and nephew. Yeah. And uh, there was a rock, or no, not a rock, but a lawn. Yeah. That was like across these two uh, rocks right here. And I, I was walking across it, but that only happened when we were coming back down. Yeah. And. Did you hear that? Yeah. Kids of the park, right? That's what it sounded like. Yeah. I also thought I heard like. Like a musical instrument, like a guitar or something. Hmm. 
It's a new one. I got dirty. And then I just hear kids laughing. Whoa, what was the, the, the tune you just did there? Like what? Do, do, do. That's... Really, it's like, like the last three strings on an acoustic. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. And what that guitar is from, like... <sighs> That's <something laughs> not comforting. I've heard something like that early before. Early 2000s or what? If it's like an old spirit playing guitar or... Oh, is, there, is there somebody here from the orphanage? I don't mean to interrupt you, but it almost looked like someone was peeking up at us for a second over here. Just see if there's a tweaker or anything. <laughs> Talk about ominous. The last time I did uh, a hunt at Minnehaha, me and my buddy had to pack up because we heard gunshots. Wait, what? You no, know, very close to us, like just down the street <laughs> close to us. Oh, no. um, and, you know, that was kind of it. Uh, you know, unfortunately with Minnehaha, you know, uh, the unseen dangers are maybe not just supernatural. So when you're there, you have to keep that mindset a bit well, of, luckily, you know, maybe safe. you're going to have to throw a punch there. or, you know, if you've got a knife on you, you might have to pull that out for defense, you know, mm. what have you. Um, so, I mean, that definitely adds to the stakes when you're there. Yeah, you slide right down there, crack your head wide open, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it looked like someone was right there peeking That's out. Weird. I mean, I didn't see it definitively, but I thought I saw it in the corner of my eye there. Well, if someone's as tall as me or Robert. They I was gonna say then, me. then yeah. <laughs> Damn. Here, you wanna hold this? Sure. You gonna try to go down there? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh oh. Careful. I say that wasn't your watch. I don't think so. If there's something here with us, can you make your presence known in a non harmful way? I smell beer again. Beer, huh? Yeah, like canned beer, like hurricane or something. Yeah. I heard that. It almost sounds like a bird or something. Like, if I had to research every sound of every bird, of what they sound like, just in case. If it's not, if that sounds not similar to all these birds, then that's actually the ghost. Because we still not know on how a ghost sounds like. It's fair day. Yes. You know what? I'm gonna hand you the mini cop cam, alright? Alright. Yeah. You just film whatever you can. Let's see how far it reach. Sure it's like a, a night vision or just like a sure ghost night vision. Hi, Mom. That you can spot something moving around you. The buttons are up to like okay. a ghost moving around. Like, if you look back to one of those paranormal activities movies, I think it was the third movie or second that one of the scenes in the wig room that they have like a night vision or some sort of random cam that's like a night vision that you see something moving that is a ghost is there anybody yeah, down here if, at all if it there's like a cam like that you know so you can actually see a ghost moving if so all you gotta do is come to the to the uh, device in my hand. Okay. My right hand. Hello. I'm gonna come around. Try to get to the entrance if you can. Why do I keep getting the name Joe in my head? 
Joe. Joe. Who's Joe? Is there somebody here named Joe? I keep getting the name Joe in my head. Joe? So yeah, so I just asked if there's anybody here named Joe, but I haven't gotten anything. Yeah, just take the cop cam back. Okay. Is that the light to be uh, Let's go find out. So What did you hear? Oh, I can hear that. Huh? I hear that a little bit. It almost reminds me of static. Yeah. There's a dog. Yeah, it sounds like TV static, but like a little far away. Static, but I still hear that dog right there. Yeah, kind of there. faded out, didn't it? Yeah. But, yeah, I keep, I keep thinking of the name Joe. I'm not sure why. But that's just in your head, huh? Yeah, it's just there. Then you sense it. That you sense that you hear, you know that Joe will <laughs> Be curious to do some research, see if a Joe ever popped up. Yeah? Well, we yeah, could. You want to hear the, you want to uh, hold the, the mess real quick? Well, here, we'll do a little walk. We'll just sit down and there's a little bench yeah. right in front of the park. We'll go right there. Is that the same bench that happened last time on one of your films, the uh, Beware the Skeleton Face? What's that? The Skeleton Face movie? If it is, more stuff. Or like a deeper whispering or something over there. Over there? Kind of by the uh, court, yeah. It's funny you say that because the court's kind of where I wanted to go a moment ago. Is that a light on over there in the, in the orphanage? Okay, so some part maybe is automatically powered or something? something. Timer? Uh, they just leave those on like every light. I don't think it's the case now, but there used to be moose lights over here. Are you familiar? Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, motion and sensor and all that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Trap cams. Yeah. I got bit by something on my arm. Did you? Yeah, a little mosquito. Let's see. Looks like a mosquito buyer. Probably. Yeah. Most likely. We want to talk about mosquito relationships. Well, why don't you go yeah. back tomorrow and oh, go just in case. Oh, yeah. Bring a bug spray yeah. with you. I actually finally looked it up. Apparently, if you have rare blood, they attack you more. Well, I'm type O. <laughs> I'm not sure what I am. Yeah, find out, you know. Oh, it's interesting, you know. Interesting indeed. Oh, 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 let me give a little clap here. Oh. Elm Street, you kidding me? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, mostly in my town, this very day, oh, has one of those streets named Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, there are a lot this way. of states or, or countries or towns out there having the same name Egyptian, Elm Street. Like I have one of my streets named Elm. So I always said what eyes are the windows something. of the soul. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Oh there's a pentagram right here. Oh of course there would be. <laughs> I don't have a good ghosty sight until you, you uh, see the big old nineties pentagram. <laughs> 
back in year 2017, I have one of those posts or one of the photos of Elm Street that I just had. more stuff around here. It's too bad. It seems like there's layers. Yeah, right. You know what was funny when I did the night vision on the what? eye? What? If you look at this, you'll notice that this is actually a face of something. Huh? So, like, there's a teeth here. Yeah. There's teeth here. There's a nose. Eyes. Oh, there. Oh, shit. This is actually, um... Oh, God. This is, uh... What? Look. What? Look. That's the hell again. Look. It's the same ghost. That follows those two. Look. It's, uh, you hear the horns and there's something in between it. Oh, this is really weird. It's like a demon almost. There's like really sharp teeth right here and then down like that. Nose, eyes, horns, and crown. Damn. Or whatever. Star. Well, I do one of those, uh, it's weird in the night vision, parts of it disappear and other parts reemerge. Like get close with that. Parts of it disappear, man. Oh, parts shit. of it don't. That's weird. That's yeah. odd. And of course we stepped on it, I'm sure that's great. <laughs> what's what's also kinda weird? It's probably just the rain, but some of it looks fresh almost. Mm. Yeah, it does. Oh, he's still looking back to that face that he's thinking about. See, here's a two. Then inside the two and the four makes that, and this is seven right here. Two, four, seven. Two, four, seven. seven. Huh. In like a weird manner. I've seen that before in like other texts and shit. Like, I wonder what it means. But uh, it's definitely interesting. Stands out a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder what this was, too. Looks like it could have been a bird. Yeah. Or something. See that? Almost looks like a penguin. It could also be a wing. Kind of looks hmm. like a wing. Could be a bird. So here's the edge of the wing, and then just kind of. You're right, yeah. It could also just be a bird because it's a tail. Oh, look at that dark shoe. Well, this way it looks like a slug. Right. The second like a snail or slug time or that snail. came up, but yeah. Gary? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Where's me crusty crab? <laughs> God damn it. Money. God damn it. Did you ever see a Pet Cemetery 2? No. It stars f***ing Mr. Krabs. <laughs> and he goes Jack Nicholson style uh, insane. <laughs> oh my god. It's pretty fun. I'm gonna cut you up, Spongebob, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. The kid from Terminator in it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. The kid who play as John Connor. Absolutely black. Some parts are. That is strange, man. So I think about John that Connor. is strange. I'm still disappointed in the Dark yeah, Fate right. movie that they had You're to right. kill him. And like, there. The movie also to have him alive, though. Oh, it's a rock right here. Like, it's I don't know what right this movie right. is going to be for. The but it looks a little course. different at night, doesn't it? Damn. Yeah? Yeah. So you got the meter on, right? You got it on? Yeah, it's on. Cool. Uh-oh. What happened to the lights? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I hate I'm hearing sheep moving around like all the time. <laughs> there was something right there. Uh, and it looked like it was just a tree, right? Dark? Yeah. But then it moved. Again. Tree, right? Dark? Yeah. But then it moved. Tree, right? Dark? Yeah. But then it moved. Tree, right? Dark? Yeah. But then it moved. I I can't say I for sure heard something, but I thought I did. Oh, I heard oh, things you moving like did. All, everywhere. The same way. Yeah. There was something no, moving there, and then it moved over there. Or you saw that, and then it moved over here, and then back up there. <laughs> well, let's see. Get this all again. This is one of the more reliable, reliable uh, batteries. Oh, that's the ghost yeah. of Joe. Uh, Joe's I'm gonna try. Opportunity. Joe's been hauling them. The... There it is. Okay. Cool. You got the top. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna go oh, right towards it. Okay. Oh, come on. No more ads for a camera. Stop it. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> There is something here. We both know that and be curious to talk to it. If it is Joe. Are you one of the children that supposedly died here? Wait, I sound again. Are you one of the children that supposedly died here? I guess that's the answer. So Are you yes. one of the children that supposedly died here? I guess it's that's a sound. Are you one yes. of the children that supposedly died here? I heard like something move over there. I guess not like one of the play toys. Play what toys. the fuck? What? Well, tradition is something we should definitely look into. We're leaving toys here and seeing if they get moved. Something to say? Interesting. I get that the boys of Joe. What the? F Are you okay? I just start crying. What really? Boy? What the? F you know, I've been ghost hunting on and off for a long time now, and I've ran into a couple friends or friends of friends who said they were psychic or you know had some uh, false notions of clairvoyancy, and you know it was embarrassing. Really, you know, it was embarrassing where you'd be doing a serious ghost hunt and they'd be going, <gasps> I feel something. <laughs> That's ridiculous, you know, <laughs> and I just, you know, am very <laughs> weary on people who present themselves, you know, to have any type of psychic ability. Well, that but they Luke, sense a ghost. Luke here, being his first ghost hunt, showed some genuine signs of clairvoyancy. Um, he wasn't hokey or fakey about it. And the reason I feel like there's some uh, validation to these notions is he'd pick up on a name or a feeling, Joe? and he'd announce it. And, and then something? something would happen. I was walking away from where we just were, over there, right? And I come up to the building, all of a sudden, I just start crying, like tears down my face, out of nowhere. No clue what the hell that was. <laughs> so weird, the batteries are so great. I know. Well, he's crying all of a sudden, huh? I, I keep getting drained. Kind of attracted. Over Maybe here. I had to do some yeah. effects of that thing, Joe. Why don't you go close to it? Or what? 
that you have these tears coming down, it's not like it'll be able to think because I have a thing when I was when I always there, yawning. I always have like. Does anybody down. here not want to play a game? Just because I'm yawning a lot. How it works is is uh, if you're actually here, all you got to do is speak into this microphone here. Like that I have right in my now, left I hand. Right here, I'm waving it. Or you can mess with this device here that I have on the ledge. Hmm. And that's how you're going to make contact. Joe is going to make contact. Oh. Thanks for letting us know. And if you do make contact, you win. Hello, there's a Joe here. Uh, I have no saying but hello and goodbye. I don't know, this is kind of fun to watch this. Is there somebody here by the name of Joe? Yes. Was that you that I heard inside? Yes. Is there somebody inside the building? Can he knock back to me? like a small roar like a it sounds like a roar a bit like does it like or just like a ghost sound like but it almost sounds like At a roar one point, a bit. pretty deep into the investigation me and luke were standing behind uh the minnehaha park uh orphanage and uh, it was pretty pretty dark out you know almost pitch black and uh four teenagers came around the corner and huh? um i don't know maybe i'm just programmed that way but anytime i see someone it's the same exuberant response of hi how you doing you know <laughs> and i think that's what i said in this, well, you this saw, you know, little chunky what? teenager you know you saw nearly some, had a heart attack when he's just like oh teenager? god did you see those creepy guys in the dark over there <laughs> huh? yeah i told luke even when i'm not trying i scare people like Jeff I would. will admit, I uh, <laughs> kind of like to. Besides, so I have a thing about pranking or do some screaming to my family or do something because this happened all those months ago while hiking before I going back to the park like to get to the car. Me. But Paul like wants me to me. do a jump scare prank, and like I done it while Nicole Mommer. Walking down to the hill, I was hiding behind a rock and then and, uh, jumped Patrick. out doing a scare. Roar. Been here and they before. were, they were freaked out. My buddy Luke. Hello. We're both here to uh, talk to you if that's what you want to do. Hmm. If there is something here, can you talk to us? That same sound, no. So, is it just have to be just one ghost? Because last Let's time you said there were like five all dead the kids. Here disappear. So, who knows? We got the same sound, of course, of the ghost. Or Joe? those five kid ghosts make the same noise. There is a Joe. You make yourself known?
there something on my right? Huh? Wait, what? No, just the EMF. So you... The grass is like super f dark right there, though. So, you, like, you felt something coming like, here? Yeah, like right next to your right foot. Uh, that's shocked right it's there. It's not dark like, like that anywhere else. That you felt something behind it's you. It's like right here. That the ghost can actually touch you. Like, if you look back to the Star Wars Force. Is there, uh, is there like Last stone Jedi or something right here on the ground? Yoda was honking to Luke. Wait, wait. Like hitting him with a stick. There's a small, small section. Something similar like that. Ah. You know what? Wait. You know what that is, oh, it's just, right? What? I think that's a basement. It is? Potentially. Dude, I think that's a basement. That perfect flat surface like that? That's interesting. Yeah. That's if it more is, structural. Maybe you gotta mm. wait until the day there comes. There definitely is a and basement then you can or something. go back and check it if it right. is basement. Okay. If not, it would have right. been dirt or. Right or over there. You can't really see anything in the camera. Back in the very when this sadly. building was still open, there was a basement. Yeah. But they had to cover it. Yeah, they are hiding. Buddy thing. Luke's coming over I guess that's where the kids are hiding. hiding. Where their dead bodies are. Yeah, come and say hi to me. It's kind of annoying, like every time at night, the birds are still awake for no reason at all. They're still making a lot of noises when they're at night. It is happened to Hello? me and my family at night. I want to leave my window open. There's somebody just over in here? Case. Until every time I hear the birds chirping. Somebody willing to speak at to night, me? At 4 or 3 in the morning. And it's so, it's so annoying, and I had to close the window. Like, I don't understand how or why those birds are still awake at night. Like, do they even learn how to sleep or what? Not getting anything. Huh. There's someone or something here. But you always swear that you always see those bushes randomly move. But you always keep checking around you I'm if all like the bushes and trees are a little bit moving because of the wind. But if yeah. it's not, then you have a feeling there's something right there. Hey, come back. Come back and say hi. Okay. I'm right here. You heard it move? There, right? Yeah, I think so. Unless you moved it or took it. No. Yeah, it's still here. That it sounded like metal. You know, it's a very distinct yeah. sound. Did you hear that at all? Yeah, I heard that too. Huh? If it if something did move over here, that picked it up. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> right. Still on? Nope. Oh well. Dude, I was using this thing for the last couple days. Yeah. And never once did it just automatically turn off. Right. And you put a new battery in it, right? It's a big battery, yeah. Yeah. Probably Joe tried to load battery. So they won't get decent size energy source. Encounter or something. Damn you, Joe! Stop blowing their battery! Can't see anything over there. Damn. Damn, I wanted to hit the playground if we not. We have another 30 minutes before people start rolling up. Okay. We're not how far are you in this video. Can I? Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe that's what the stick is for. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just said, hey, 
if if you're still around, you guys still want to play. Here's a stick to fend off people. <laughs> <laughs> or if you look back to the one of that found footage, it goes movie. Um, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, the ghost it hunting movie. Like because out. one of those main characters. Oh like, yeah, not only that. but he has a stick or the pipe. Or yeah, with him. I saw that too, actually. Was a long shingling before. It wasn't stick quite or something like that. Like that. No. The, fence. Oh. the camera can't see either. It's all dark I mean, up there. If you look back to one of that sound footage, goes okay. to the that happened like 2010 or something. Oh, there are holes in there, huh? Oh, shit. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, what? Hold on a minute. What, you Whoa. know something? I have to be singing that wrong. Luke, there. <laughs> It looks like an eye there. What the f***? Where you was? I had to look closer. Zoom in as much as you can. Yeah. So you saw an eye? Uh, you see that at all? Because we may not know like and that. how those holes got looking. there. Like, if it tends to be because the place is getting a little bit old, <laughs> old things are falling apart, oh. or someone yeah. break through and they yeah. just made a window like there's my window oh man that was not a good vibe <laughs> no i really felt like someone was uh, watching me i contacted uh someone from parks and recreation and uh he was perfectly all right with me and luke doing a full ghost investigation overnight at minnehaha orphanage uh but unfortunately, in the middle of this COVID quarantine, they've been pretty short-staffed. So we didn't get to do it this go. But I think we're just a stone's throw away from being able to finally see what's inside that building. I still want to know what's inside that building. Ever since I saw one of your right. episodes back in, the, or back in those years ago, I still Weird. want to know what's inside. Because yeah. teach people right now, that bathroom here. door that has a light in and you know that you find you saw an eye and you hear noises inside and you look at those holes down in the basement I mean, or you always want to go inside so badly and you like might that? get to notice a ghost or a stranger inside yeah. or something so, something you want to see so badly so you can finally encounter something Joe, are you still here? Yes. I came back. Oh, you're back. Do you want to play I'm... again? Oh, let's play a game. Song. Have you heard a song? Hey, Joe. Yes? What's up? Can you communicate to me again? Uh. Because I remember I told you that that you want to play a game called Song. If you, you did watch the, if you did watch the last year, that that ghost can touch something so I can talk. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. During the end of our allowed time at... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Nearing the end of our allowed time at Minnehaha Park, every piece of equipment that can record video miraculously has been drained of power, which you always have a feeling that the ghost done that. Thinking of his feet, look, uses his phone already on low battery to capture this video. Oh. Oh, that's dark right there. So all of your cameras and your phone are about to drain power so quickly. So it's got to be the ghost, huh? Joe. Damn you, Joe! Stop lowering the- Stop draining their power! <laughs> what he caught was for me the highlight of the investigation. Interesting.
Okay, a little closer. Hey, Joe. It's Tom, buddy. Can you come here? Can you come out? Can you come out? Can you come out? Can you come out? You're so upset too. Can you come out and say hi? You saw that too, right? Joe just moved. Come here, buddy. That was Joe. I saw you in there before. What do you mean? That's pretty dark right there. Like, where'd you go? That was the ghost right there. Just moved. Wait. What is that little circle just fly by? <laughs> I mean, that was the fly, or? There was like a shadow inside. Hmm. Whoa. Wait, did you drop your... No, I didn't drop anything. Oh. Uh. It just got thrown, dude. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yours got thrown. Oh. Wait, what? What the f***? Oh, you just made Joe Mine's angry. No, no. The more he angers, he will drain your power and throw your flashlights. Oh, Mine better, just got thrown right here. Better run. Holy Yours is over there? Yeah, that's mine. Dude. Dude. Mine just got thrown across. It'll be interesting to have a first person with a camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm recording. You're focusing You're recording? on the back. Yes. Or, yes. While you are looking, I got that. Looking at all while a person behind that you is right recording around. Yeah, Dude, I got right thrown from the over there to where I was standing in front of this hole. Joe's angry. He I was to throw a flashlight at you right here, right? Yeah. And it just lands right there. It wasn't this, right? No, it wasn't that. My flashlight what was fake? left on that ledge. Yeah. And it got thrown right there. That's the only <laughs> flashlight you guys have. <laughs> you, might, you might be on something with this Joe thing. Yeah, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sh <gasps> what happened? Low battery. Oh. Just went down to like almost nothing. Yeah, I can. That helps? Yeah, it does. You guys get out there now. Damn, man, I'm still kind of, I'm kind of like <laughs> yeah, for real. It's crazy. <laughs> so, is that the only flashlight you guys have? I'm not be kind of by it. Right? I'm just glad you didn't, whatever, didn't aim higher. Right? Or farther. Yeah. It would have actually hit me if it did. Yeah. It would have actually hit me if it did. It would have actually oh, hit me light. if it did. All your camera's been drained. After reviewing all the evidence, watching all the videos, listening to the EVPs a hundred times, I really do feel like there is something there at Minnehaha Park. Which is true. You're Maybe right. multiple some things. I mean, there is evidence to suggest that there are children spirits, and maybe something a little more malevolent as well. But, I mean, you have this episode now. You have the footage I have. So maybe you can analyze it. Go over it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are the things me and Luke captured here easily debunked? Or do we have a haunting at Minnehaha Park? Thank you for joining me in my first episode of Spirits of Spokane. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon with another episode. Damn. So, that was the end for this episode right there. And it was pretty, really creepy there, too. Like, part of the ending, where they just known us, their flashlight... And it's all movement inside one of those holes. So currently, you know, oh. work when I'm not 
doing YouTube and violently slaughtering people, mm. uh, I'm working at CMS Security. And, oh, hello. Aww. We have a baby Maine Coon here with us, ladies Aww, and gentlemen. so adorable. <laughs> Do you have a story to tell? Aww. Sounds like a lot. Indeed. <laughs> oh, so cute. So cute. Okay. Okay. That was awesome, folks. Bitsy Betty Kruger and Luke. You two did amazing to have this come to life for our ghost hunting for this episode. So one of those recordings happened in 2019, and the other one for this year. Interesting. So, you finally did encounter more of the ghosts of Joe. If Joe is the only ghost there, but you said there were like five kids. Sorry about that, that was my dog. <laughs> Anyways, so, Joe's been touching that place for quite some time now. So, you finally did, but it's really difficult to get the right look for what Joe is. But that's awesome. So, I don't know what the next episode is going to be like this time. It's very interesting. So, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video, folks. And Mr. Ray Kruger, Luke, you two are amazing to create this. I can't wait to see more. You gotta bring more of your group. Of course, it might be difficult due to quarantine, but damn, I still want to see more of you guys to do more of these. Man, if there will be a chance to have a fur camel person with you, like one of you look at the whole... And the other one look at the other side, and while the other one focusing on the back, if the camera will might notice the one of the your objects move by itself, at Joe and Froin, because you'll be interested. Like, holy crap! It's I don't know what to say, but this video is awesome. I can't wait to see more. Man, well, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. This is Lord Flames here, but oh wait. After this video ends, I'll show you a few little bit of scenes for the Hollow Nightmare movie I'm working on. Which is not coming this year, no, it's coming next year. Because I had to delay it due to quarantine coronavirus. Damn you, coronavirus! But anyways. Here you go, folks. Hope you like this.